Hey guys, Mr. Lad here. Uh, just giving you guys a little tutorial on how to do low poly edits. So low poly edits are actually super easy to do. Uh, once you know the first five steps, really, it's just the last two steps of the five steps, doing it over and over again. Really cool assignment, cool effect too as well, um, and it really makes you work the shortcuts and working the lasso tool. So uh, basically what a low poly edit is, is I have a picture of this tiger here right uh, on a real background so when you guys are doing yours I want you guys to choose an animal with a background so not just a blank background okay uh, and the whole goal is to turn the animal into what it should look like a low graphic low rendered image of the animal over a real background so I decided to go with the tiger all right so your first step what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to file open you know you should have your picture of your tiger already saved like I do or the picture of whatever animal you want to do and you know click open and you're gonna open up the image of your animal okay your next step what you're gonna do is you are going to use the lasso tool whatever lasso tool you're more comfortable with I, use, I like to use the polygonal lasso tool and you are going to crop not crop out sorry you're gonna do an outline of just your animal all right so you are going to take your time, you are not going to rush like I am, right, like so, okay, and then you're going to go control C and then control V, so you should end up with the crop out of just your tiger or just your animal. Uh, as you can see with my tiger, I have my background in here, so I actually want to delete this background, I don't want this background in there when I'm doing mine, so I'm going to click delete. Also have a little section by his tail here that I also gotta delete. You know, I would do a much better job if I didn't want to take up too much time. But anyways, nice. So now I have my tiger all nice and cropped out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the tiger layer without the background here. Okay, uh, the low poly edit is basically just drawing a bunch of triangles. Now it has to be triangles for it to get this proper look here. You can't just do any random shape like squares, rhombuses. Um, it has to be a triangle because uh, that's what's going to work, alright? Alright, so with this tiger, I am going to draw a triangle. So now I have to use the polygonal lasso tool, okay? Because the polygonal lasso tool will allow me to get straight lines like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a bunch of triangles inside my tiger. Once I've drawn my first triangle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter, I'm going to go to blur, and then I'm going to go to average. What average does is it takes all the all the colors within your selection and it makes an average color. Um, so as you can see here, I've created a triangle here. Now, now that I've used this filter once, now I can use a shortcut. So if I want, I can I'm going to draw my triangle again. Bang, I got a triangle like so. Now I can use Control alt f and what Control alt f does is it uses the last filter you use. Okay, so mine happened to be Blur Average. Now, if you didn't use this filter yet, the shortcut will not work. So you have to at least use one filter first. Alright, so for instance, if I do this one, and I go to Noise, and I go Add Noise, and I make my triangle all noisy like so, now the next filter that I use will be noise. All right. So I want to use blur and average the entire time. So that's the filter that we're gonna go with. Filter, blur, average. Okay, cool. A um, couple other things that I can show you with doing the lasso tool once you kind of get figured out how you want to do your uh, your animal. You don't actually have to click and make a full triangle. It, I can show you a little shortcut where you can automatically make a triangle easier. So if you click, you know, bring out your line so that you have a line here. I'm going to click here. So now this line is locked in. Now if I bring my line out to another point, I'm not going to click anything yet. I'm going to hold control. So control, you can see that little circle has appeared beside my lasso. Right now if I click, boom, it automatically connects this triangle for me. So it's a couple less clicks to do. It might be a little helpful because this is the most time consuming part, just drawing all your triangles. Uh, you want to make sure that your triangles are as connected as close as possible. So you see that little line right there? You want to finish that, you want to edit it with the triangle. You don't want to see any of those spaces. However, 
if you zoom out far enough and you see that little piece that you weren't able to cover up, like for instance, like that, and you see a little part, when you zoom out and you can still see that part, then yeah, you gotta edit it. But if it's small enough, kind of like that guy that you can't really tell, then you don't have to worry about it too much. So I'm gonna edit this guy. Okay, nice. Okay, another couple notes to think about here when you are doing your animal. Make sure you only do a triangle within that body part. So for instance, this leg right here, when I do my triangle, I'm going to try to stick within just this leg. I'm not going to make triangles that go outside of the leg. Because basically what ends up happening is you will be able to tell whether it's a leg or it's a head or it's a tail. The best, uh, the best um, example of this is the head right here. So in my tiger that I've already edited, I had a part right here. So you can see that I did all my triangles around its head. I did the triangles within its arms right here, the triangles within its tail right there. Uh, it's kind of messed up here, so I'll just cover up the other tiger. So you can see the triangles stay within that body part. If you do a triangle that goes over multiple body parts, like for instance, I'm gonna go over this ear, this head, and the body. So I'm gonna make a triangle over all of it so you can see that they're all selected and then I do a filter you're not gonna be able to tell that there was an ear there you can't tell that this head is not you know um, it's a different part of the body to the back uh, if you look at my example here I did mine triangles all around the head so that you can actually tell that this is supposed to be a head right here uh, another good idea to do that is within the eyes so you can see that the triangles with my eyes here oops, I missed a spot so fix that one up there Okay, so I guess I did not do the filter yet, filter, there you go, okay, so you can see that the eyes, the triangles are within their own set of uh, areas, okay, uh, once you kind of have like your, uh, the understanding of how to do this little poly edit, it's a really good effect to do, it makes cool looking effects, um, if you ever do like posters or, you know, anything else, where you have a main focal point and you want to give it like a little pizzazz. Uh, the low poly edit is a fun kind of little edit that you can do with it. Uh, I'm making my tiger a little bit bigger so it kind of covers up my my background tiger. I'm kind of failing on doing that right now, but that's okay. Um, it ends up with a kind of like an image like this where you have a low graph or a low render graphic image over obviously a very uh, texturized, very detailed background. Okay, that's a low poly edit. Your goal here is to do an animal um, that is low poly edit, but at the same time is up against the background of a actual um, real life background, all right? So that's your goal right now, you guys. Good luck, have fun, and if you want to use this effect in the future on different assignments, by all means, use this, uh, use this effect. It's very easy to do. All right, cheers.